For many years, NASA has been improving and upgrading their soft goods department to help produce only the best, almost top tier like spacesuits. The first full pressure spacesuit was made by NASA for exploration around Mercury. Unfortunately, it was only meant to be used inside of the spaceship. I'm seated here with Nicole Brazil, soft goods technician for NASA. How would you go first about creating and designing anything related to like spacesuits or parachutes? And how do you ensure that it's going to be effective? Well, as a soft goods technician, it's more of putting together the things that the designers and the engineers bring down to me. I do have some say in if things would work as far as fabricating them, but mostly it's just me putting the materials together to make, you know, whatever soft goods item there is, you know, be it a CTB or a spacesuit or something. I know it works because the engineer and the designers will have tested it and run it through first before they bring it to me. You wouldn't believe how many soft goods products besides space suits that go up to the space station. Soft goods is a wonderful product for space because it's light, it's flexible, uh, it can be squashed when it's empty. There's so much hard work that goes into keeping our astronauts safe. Keeping in mind that the amount of CTE expertise that this involves, crafting these spaces and all of this, is out of this world. Thank you, Florence Gold and Nicole Brazil, for teaching us more about the parts of NASA that we don't usually see. It's clear that you and your team work very hard to keep our astronauts safe.